in the beard, there were two or three or four or five gray hairs. So I concluded that whoever was coloring his hair for him was masking those individual hairs off or something. Either that or it was the Ormus. Another example, this is a cat named Tut. Tut was born around April of 2003. Dana's person found him in May of 2003. He was about six weeks old. He'd lost his mommy. She probably got hit by a car or something, and he was pretty well starving. And when she got him, he cried day and night till May 26th for three or four days, the first three or four days that he was there. And she wanted to get some sleep, so she put him out on the back porch. And just so that he could get outside if he had to do his business, she opened the door of the back porch so that he could get in and out. Well, that night there was a terrible windstorm. This was in North Carolina. Terrible windstorm. And it was so much of a storm that it blew her shed. It blew the roof down. When she went out the next day, the roof was collapsed. And the cat was nowhere to be seen. But she went out and called. And here comes this little cat dragging its tail which was just held on by a thread. That was the tail that it dragged in. It was just held on by a thread of skin. And you can see it's, it's about five, maybe six inches if you stretch it out. Six inches of tail. And there was a little bit of a stub of the tail left. Maybe the, the cat got caught in the garage when the roof collapsed and that cut his tail off. I don't know. We don't know how it got cut off. That's the stub. That's the scab that came off of all of the remainder of the tail. That's all that was left of the tail was that little one-inch stub of tail. Well, she knew about the Ormus at this time, and she had some hand cream. So she started feeding it to this little cat. And here is a video. Let's see if we can get this thing to run here. This is hand cream. Kind of yucky stuff. Does not mean it tastes. I mean, I think it's yucky. Cream. I tasted it. It doesn't. It tastes like hand cream to me. Okay. Look this cat's just puddles. lapping it up. Is that weird? Mm -hmm. Now look at his tail. Puddles on my hand. Cat's just lapping it up. He loves it. Now this is kind of a long video. And actually, because I want wanted everybody to get an idea of how much this cat likes this hand cream. This was all shot in one continuous video. I rearranged it a little bit, but it was all one continuous video. See, when he's done, he's done. You're not getting him back in there. He's not quite done yet. Every time you think he's done... He doesn't like me to drip it when he's drinking. No. I was trying to do it so you could get drops back to it. in no, as he was fine. sucking it out. There you go. That's good. You think he's done? Just don't grip it on me, he said. Just don't grip it on me. Hurry up, Harry. You're not going to get it I'm almost out. I, I can't get that cat. I can't get my cat to eat anything that Next much. We're getting right now is like and there's his tail. Because he's jumping down. This is, this is the new tail that grew. In this picture, this is about where his tail would have been. All of this is new. Notice this little red thing on the end. They're undifferentiated cells. They're the kind of cells that a fetus has, but you don't expect any 
adult animal to have or any, any, you know, anything outside of the womb, these undifferentiated cells, they would start to form at the tip of the, uh, the tail and the tail would grow. The tail has gotten about an inch longer, she says, even than this and still seems to be growing. And notice right at the end, I didn't get a picture of it, but she says that sometimes right at the end there's a little white thing and that's the bone, growing a new bone. Now what is this about the equivalent of? The tail has bone, muscle, ligaments. It's a fully articulated appendage. In fact, it's, it's got more joints than a finger and it's more articulated than a finger. Tail is really a, a remarkable part of an animal. All of our skeletal and muscle is represented in the tail. So if you can grow a new tail, if you're a cat, you can just about grow anything new. This has never, never happened before to my knowledge. There's n never been uh, a mammal that grew a new appendage like this. This is, this is the first. So here's the pictorial photographic evidence. And there's the new tail at the top, the stub of tail in the middle, and the old tail that came off. You can see from this picture that the new tail in this picture had almost regained its full length. It should be, when it's f fully done growing, it should be twice as long as the old tail because the cat was just six weeks old when he lost his tail. Some evidence that plants are greatly benefited by ormus minerals as well. Notice the giant walnuts in the picture. Here's a walnut on in the upper right. The outer shell of the walnut is bigger than a tennis ball. And the one in the middle is almost as big as a tennis ball, a lot bigger than a golf ball, which is more typically a size of a, of a walnut. And notice the one in the lower left. That one was grown on a nearby tree. They were all given the same water, the same everything, same place, grown from the same stock, planted at the same time. Everything was the same. The only difference was that the center walnut was grown uh, with ormus and the other ones were not. He planted seven trees, two of them a year before, and five of them that same year, or two of them a couple years before, and, and five of them the same year. And one of them, one of the five, he watered with the ormus, and none of the others. One was a little close to it, and so it got a little bit of the, the ormus, and so it got a little bigger. Here's a bunch of the walnuts right off of the tree. You can see it looks more like lemons or something like that than walnut. He used one cup. It would be about the equivalent to two cups of this. It was a buttery texture stuff and he put it on at one time four years before the walnuts came out. It seems to take four years. The tree on the right was watered with the Ormus precipitate from Pacific Ocean water and the tree on the left was not. This photo was taken in October of 2000. Now here's another picture of the same two trees a year later. Notice how different they are in size. I've got a, a friend standing there to compare the size that one is so much larger than the other ones. And you can see it's, it's like Eastern Oregon, like climate there. It's cold, it's dry, and yet here's a walnut tree that's making walnuts that are bigger than anything that anybody's ever seen. Just, I've got a video that was taken that same year. See how desolate it looks? See those two fellows? The one on the left is the guy that grew the tree. And there's the walnut on the tree itself. And I zoom back. And you can see it, you know, it doesn't sound real warm there. It's pretty windy when I was there on that day. Chilly. And there's the tree. And then over here on the right, you can see some more walnut trees. Those were planted at the same time. And then there, that tree was right next to it, so it was a little bigger. And then those trees off further to the left, those are some of the uh, trees, other trees, walnut trees that were planted at the same time. So 
an incredible difference in the size of those trees.